Greetings, Dan Halligan with Canta Games, and, and I, I don't know exactly what to do with this video. After we did the unboxing, I, I ran over to my brother's house and we played the game with all its post-production gloriousness, appreciating the, the, the really fine design elements. Panda did a great job. Some of your backer tiles are a scream. Uh, game breakers, let me tell you, boy, you're going to have to pick and choose your poison on those. You see people fighting over those like uh, it's, the, it's the last sale item in a, in a store. But I brought it home and I said, you know what, Friday's project, that was yesterday, Friday's project, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pack this box out with all four titles from the Kickstarter campaign. And, and I'm, and I'm going to see how it packs. And I, I don't know what to attribute this to. I, I, I'm a spiritual guy. I'll, I'll, I'll credit Divine Providence. Uh, if you want to credit luck, if you want to credit serendipity, I, I don't know. I don't know what to give credit for. I could take 10 years with teams of engineers, with Jamie Stegmeyer and, and Ted Allspat staring over my shoulder, all the great design, and I could not have ended up in a better place than how this thing packs out. And I can't change a light bulb. I mean, I have some abilities, but I do not have the ability uh, for patient measuring and fitting. When I hang a picture on the wall, if I don't have a hammer handy, I will take off my shoe or take my coffee cup and hammer in the nail. I'm not an engineering type. I have two sons who are engineers in college to correct for that mistake and apologize to the world. But the reality is something bizarre happened, and I cannot believe what this box, how this box packs out. So without further ado, I do have the first, let me, let me, let me get over here. There's the first and second edition of Obsession. So you can see the internal volume that's been added to make it fit. That's a wild ass guess, people. I mean, I, I, I tried an intelligent guess and I guess I'll take credit for an intelligent guess, but that was a wild guess. And it turned out to be a perfect guess. Um, let's slide this baby over. First thing I want you to see here is that when you have all four titles, you're going to have duplicate servants' halls and duplicate barns. Those, it's going to be the case because anybody who bought just upstairs, downstairs, um, because they wanted to couple it with their first edition of Obsession, they, they got the extender for the supply board. They also got the upgraded iconography and clarity associated with these in upstairs, downstairs. And then I have put in the second edition of Obsession. I made the same change. So these are duplicate. So if you haven't gifted your first copy, if you're an owner of the first edition, you'll want to go ahead and take these, which you otherwise will be pitching, and put those in your first edition and gift them over because that's a much better iconography and it reflects the rule of having to place a servant to, to gossip and get the reputation from your opponent. So that brings us to this. Let's slide down here and look at this baby sitting flush. Okay, see how nice and flush? I'm not, I'm not having a little lift because the rule books and maybe a board won't fit in. This is, this is just nuts. Okay, beautiful. Hey, stand up there. So, all rule books are here. So we have the glossary. We have the upstairs, downstairs rule book. We have the obsession rule book. The first layout, this you could play with a little bit, but let me explain what the pack is. It's It was no effort at any time just to shove everything in there. The goal is to use these beautiful things below, which are the family boxes, to hold everything that's necessary for a player to get that box and have what they need for their family to get up and going, to get started. And, and doing that, one of these boxes perfectly holds all the remaining tiles. Another one of these boxes holds cards, uh, cards and meeples. There's a few elements that don't fit in boxes. So we have, we have our lovely draw bag for tiles. We have just some odds and ends here. These are for one of the new games in Upstairs Downstairs where you can play to actually a reputation level of 11, 
10 being the top numerical level. That's your solitaire dice. That's <laughs> that's just a, uh, a chit that's used in solo estate challenge. Uh, and your first round markers, which you could drop in there. But I, I just put them in that bag there. These are just the accessory cards. They're uh, not really accessory. The milestones, if you want to play with them. The player aids, if you want to use them. And the solitaire cards. So that's, that's those two. And then I have two score pads because we got one with each game upstairs downstairs and obsession so that fits lovely and then you lift out and you have um, your three little score sheet these are those two nice cardboard references for both the promotional tiles and the promotional oh, rules now look at look look at look at that okay look i, I, I wanna you know the the it doesn't slide it doesn't move. <laughs> what I've done here is to use the Wessex box to hold the player boards. And that gives this little shelf look, which gave a storage location here. So the first thing you say, well, I got, I, I'm, I'm, how am I getting my fingers in there? It's real simple. I have the, if you remember, the plan with these organizers was that the organizers lift out. So there's your five organizers. Everybody should be aware there's not six organizers. If you're going to try to play with six people, you're going to have to use the integral organizer on one of the player boards. It was just a concession I had to make, but I don't think a big one. Six players is going to be rough. You're doing competitive six players. You've got the patience of a saint. Anyway, boom. That just, see how that, see how that dropped in there? Now, these are accessible. You're playing a game. You say to somebody, hey, you want to be, uh, let, let you be Ponsonby. You hand them Ponsonby. And somebody says, you know what? I'll be Wessex. Two-player game. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make some room. So it's a two-player game. You get handed your box. You're gonna begin your game. You open it up. What do you have in your box? Well, you can see here I have my five start tiles. I have my starting servants. This is Ponsonby. I have my Ponsonby family. I have my 300 pounds associated with Ponsonby, and this could of course be nice metal coins, but I'm using the coins that came with it. You have your two milestone markers for family Ponsonby, and you have your reputation chits all the way up to extended level, along with a reminder tile and a max, and your marker for your board. All of that is sitting happy and nice in that little Ponsonby box. Just hand it over to them. Let's take a look at Wessex. We pop open Wessex. Well, Wessex, they have the nice two new little des dedicated Wessex family advantage second round improvement or second level improvement tiles along with their starting servants, their starting tiles, their starting chits, and their starting cards. So each one is loaded with what's needed to be able to just hand it out and we're fitting beautifully. There's nothing slopping over. So you have your six families in these boxes. Now, if you decided not to get a Wessex or you decided not to get upstairs, downstairs, even just Obsession, you have extra room and you could be dropping stuff like this in one of the spare boxes. They're still very thematic. You may not, you may not be playing with Family Howard, but it's a nice box that, that fits the theme. This has the extender in here, which really you wouldn't have with the second edition. I I included it just because I could, but you could leave that out because that would normally go with a first edition box, which wouldn't have these, which wouldn't have these storage boxes. So I'll set that over there. So now check this out. This this boggles the mind. This, I could not have done this any better. Again, I'm saying that out of amazement, not out of any braggadocio, because I was petrified when I was opening these boxes. I mean, I worked at it, but I was still petrified. So here's, here's my low value monument tiles. Okay, I don't know, you, can, you can bind them any way you want. Uh, somebody gave me on a trade these things, which I know people like, so I show you there. These are the regular monument tiles right here, right? Boom, so those are the regular monument tiles. So you got those fit nice. These are the promotional tiles. Let me tell you, these babies, some of these babies I think I will permanently have in the game. A lot of the service ones. Some of these, boy, it's going to be a select one. And that is every other improvement tile. I want you to get down. I want you to look at how those fit in that box. 
Uh, it is every other tile in the game. There's no there's no slop. There's no leftover tiles. That stores like a dream. Now you could store it. You could organize it a little differently. You could organize it by initial population and so on. But because with our new system where everything can go in the bag, there's really not a need to do that. But there's options. Now I come over here, you can see lurking here is the Wessex box holding. I'll jump ahead since you're looking at it. This is the Wessex box perfectly holding our six family boards. And that fits like a glove right there. And here we have this bag perfectly holds all the servants that are left over that are not in the family boxes. It, it would hold all the servants if you want. I, I didn't intend it for that, but my God, it's perfect. It's like a happy, the downstairs dudes, they're, they're very happy in here. And I have, again, using a little bit of that, that um, plastic bands, I have this money, which, you know, I think a lot of you are gonna upgrade, but it fits nicely there. And I have all my cards, you know, I could organize it there. That's my promotional cards. That's my family and uh, prestige guests and the Fairchilds. Those are my casual guests. Slides in there like butter. These are both the little cards and those that dislike the little cards of which you are a vocal group. Uh, we have the bigger cards, both for both sets of objective cards and these are the courtship cards that match that larger size. Like butter, look at that. This one you have to squish just a little bit in there, but not bad at all. So that goes there. We've got those two. We saw that. Whoop, I'm getting excitable here. Hold on. And we look here. We have two round tracks, one that contains the new Wessex games here. And you'll obviously have two extended play sides because the second edition upgraded the extended play side, but... You need that. You need that Wessex board, and then you have the great new supply board with the built-in reserve. Um, I, I, again, I'm speechless. I'm speechless that yours truly, who's a, a reasonably uh, conscientious gentleman, but doesn't have a engineering bone in his body, lucked out. <laughs> To the extent, look at that, it fits perfectly snug. Take these, take these, can take this, take this, fold, place there, 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 there. Every one of you folks, and this is to your credit because you're the ones who told me, you know what? I gotta put that 10 pound beast on its side on the shelf. You know what, that thing on the shelf on its side, not a thing moves. Congratulations. 